Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today's video is going to piggyback off of one I put out a while ago when Waves released their version 12 of their plugins because version 13 is out, Waves V13. And the last video I did was Waves version 12, is it worth the upgrade? And back then Waves had some kind of misleading statements. They called all of their plugins Retina Ready, implying that the plugin GUI was ready for retina displays or high DPI displays. They weren't. Just a couple were eventually updated to do that. In version 13, they're a lot more transparent about that, plus there's some significant upgrades in this version. So the first big thing I want to point out about version 13 is it now supports the new Apple M1 processor. So if you've got a new Mac in the past year or so, some of the newer models have this processor. Not all plugins were running natively on that processor, and now Waves will run natively on the M1 Max. That's a big deal. The second thing is it now offers Windows 11 support as well. So it'll run on Windows 11 and those DAWs that are supported within Windows 11 as well. So two huge upgrades if you've got new equipment or if you're planning on getting new equipment and you use a lot of Waves plugins. The third big thing we have going here are some new updates graphically for three more plugins. And I'm really happy about one of them. And that is the Sheps on the channel, the one you see on the screen. This is one of Waves best plugins by far, if you asked me. Really versatile, great sounding plugin, and now it looks so much better. I'm gonna drag it over here. I'm gonna bring the old version 12 and before user interface on the left hand side here. And you can compare the two and see what that graphical update did. It's just a lot more readable, especially if you're going down to smaller sizes or really big sizes, like 150% right here. Looks great. The old version did not look great, really fuzzy graphics. So that's a big bonus. Another new thing that happened in this plugin is if you insert a plugin here, which you can do, just pick one here randomly, it now floats in its own separate window. So you can have any Waves plugin you own within Shep's Omni channel, but now it has its own kind of floaty window here above the rest where you can still see this interface, which is pretty cool. The next updated interface here is Kaleidoscope's kind of a multi-step modulation plugin, which is really cool. You can create some really great movement effects with this one. And if I scooch it over to the right hand side and compare it to the old interface, you can see big improvement, much more readable, much, much better. And the final graphical improvement we have here is the RS124, the Abbey Road Studios compressor. Again, a lot more readable if you compare it to the old version, which I'll drop right below here. The only thing that's a little bit weird about this is they definitely updated the control readout and a lot of the print on here. But if you take a look at the knobs themselves, they're the same old ones. So that's really not much of a graphical update, but they don't matter that much. It's really the readability that was important here. And that was a big upgrade there. So those three plugins have new updated interfaces. Waves is a little bit behind in that regard. A lot of their plugins just don't look great on retina displays or high DPI displays, but at least they're making some progress, hopefully more to come. There's a whole bunch of bug fixes also listed on the website that happened in V13, but again, the big three are Apple M1 native support, Windows 11 support, and a few upgraded graphics for Omnichannel Kaleidoscope and Abbey Road's RS124. So my overall verdict on this compared to V12, this is much more worth the upgrade, especially if you have an M1 Mac or a Windows 11, or if you're planning on upgrading your system anytime soon to a new Mac or a new Windows computer, definitely worth getting version 13 so you're compatible there. If it works for you right now and you don't mind the interface on these plugins, remember, you do not have to upgrade. You can use your plugins forever. There are lots of producers and engineers back on version 9 running old systems and Waves works great for them. So only update if you really need to. But in my opinion, this is a much better upgrade to version 13 than version 12 was. So good job, Waves. Hopefully more graphical updates in the future as well. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.